so everybody can hear me loud and clear and i've started the recording too that's great guys so this is our regular classes with which is which happens on saturday all right so i who all have joined in so we have abhishek we have arushi then we have santosh vibhor and i've got a couple of people whose name is not present here so there's somebody by the name by the number 509697 and there is somebody by the name android attendee both of you can let me know what are your names guys so that i can address you properly that way all right so let's get started guys let's do a recap of what we have done in the last on last saturday anybody who remembers and recalls what we did on last saturday guys so what exactly we did in the last saturday uh, if you can type that out guys we did the webmaster tool absolutely right any doubts any queries within uh, so we did the campaigning that was the sunday batch so uh, the the campaign was the google adwords campaign so we would continue that for sure aruchi in our sunday batch only which is going to happen tomorrow uh, the saturday batch we are uh, working on the seo part as of now and uh, we would continue doing that all right so uh, no no i'm just asking what exactly we did in the last class not something which we're going to cover today right uh, before so what exactly we did the webmaster like santosh did mention anybody else who wants to jump in and talk about any specific topic which we had covered in the last session any doubts or any queries guys from the from, from whatever walks of uh, digital marketing do ask me let me know if you have any doubts or any queries some analysis okay what analysis if you say some uh, if you can help me in being specific santosh sure maybe i can help you then so analysis of what particular stuff are you looking at Mm-hmm. Okay, you're telling about the last class. Okay, okay, right, right. Absolutely, we did that. Absolutely, right, Santosh. Got your point. Okay. All right. So let's begin with today's class, guys. Uh, the uh, the main agenda for today's class is that we're going to start first of all with SEO tools. Some of the SEO tools, which are well-renowned SEO tools, and I'm going to talk about and I'm going to show you some of the SEO tools. Number one tool, which I want to show you guys. I hope everybody over here is aware of on page and off page optimization guys sarushi you might probably not not be having idea about the on page and off page since uh, you were not part of the previous sessions but still not a problem try to catch up as much as you can you will absolutely get to learn all these in your next uh, sunday batch santosh says some of the webmaster tool topics were not completed all right uh, you have a slight idea that's great okay i'll open webmaster and then show you that uh okay right right i got that point santosh absolutely we would take that that was more to do with uh, the structured uh data or what do you say the structured data uh, capturing and uh, setup so absolutely i would take that uh, once the seo tools are being done perfectly i want you guys to go ahead and run across uh the overall panel of webmaster and get a good idea on how this entire webmaster thing works right so uh, abhishek were you part of the previous uh, saturday session and uh, santosh was there before were you also i think you were also part of the previous uh, session right and i have all right okay and i have someone by the name of 509697 i'm not sure who is that so i'm uh, if you can just let me know your name please that would be very uh, easy for me to actually point out to you all right so the very first tool guys which i'm going to talk about today is web ceo okay web ceo is a great tool great seo tool let me sh- or share that with you so it's a paid tool guys webceo.com this tool helps us to do overall on page and off page optimization make our SEO campaign with respect to on page and off page perfect all right so here's the url guys all 
All right, so this tool, guys, helps us to do a lot of uh, analysis of our website from the SEO perspective. When we run SEO campaigns, the overall SEO audit and all the keyword analysis, sitemap, robots, all these things, whatever we have studied so far, the backlinking process, that is all helped across. Uh, we get to know a lot about our SEO campaign through this. There are two versions to Web CEO. You can sign up on this particular tool and download the desktop version of this. So there is a desktop version and also there is a, just a sec and there is a online version too. All right. So this is not a Google product. Great question, Santosh. Uh, this is a third party website, third party organization which provides us that. It does have a free plan also where you don't need a credit card to be submitted across. You can sign up for that, sign up free and uh, you can uh, get started over there. I already have my online version to this and i'm gonna what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna uh, open the free version of web ceo right in front of you and make you see what all things does it really uh, help us with all right so let's say i mean this is the uh, online version guys you can absolutely go ahead and get yourself sign up over there All right, so here you go, guys. This is the uh, URL for going ahead and signing up for the online version. What I've done right now with this particular online version, on the top, if you can see, there is the symbol select project. There is this option of select project. You can go ahead and click over here and add on projects. With the free version, you can add on maximum two projects, and that's what I've already done. I've got two projects set up over here, right? For one of the website being Golf Design India, the other one being PropChill. These are a couple of my clients, guys. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to show you, let's say for the first one, you can add in, you know, the best part, the beauty of this particular product is that you cannot just go ahead and add in your products, your websites. You can also add in a website of your competitor too. When you add in your add in a website of your competitor, you don't need a permission from that website owner, right? Like for Google Analytics and Google Webmaster, if you have, if you want to know traffic of, from, for, uh, about your website, if you want to know about backlinks of your website, if you want to know about how things are performing on your website, good, bad, ugly, what are the suggestions uh, in, within the webmaster, then you need the backend of your website so that you can integrate, first of all, the webs website of yours with Google Webmaster or Google Analytics. But this particular tool doesn't ask you for the admin to for being an admin of a particular website. You can straight away go ahead and add in a website over here, maybe your competitor website. And since you don't have the access to your competitor's website, it's pretty OK. Still, this tool will give you a lot of information about your competitor's website. Right, so that's a great thing, guys. And let's do one thing. I go ahead and open this particular uh, project, you know, this particular one of the projects, which is called design. Avisha says we can also remove the project after we finished our work. Absolutely. We can uh, go ahead and do that also. Let's say if I click on all projects and if I want to go ahead and let's say go ahead and delete this one. All right. So which I actually wanted to. I go ahead and delete this specific project. That's what has happened. So you can do that, Abhishek. All right. So I can add in another project. Right now, as of now, I've got one of the project. Uh, now I can add one more. Let me go ahead and show you for this particular project. When I click onto this project, the very first thing which I go over here and get uh, get to see are there are so many uh, tutorials which are available over here. You guys can also go ahead and uh, you know be part of these tutorials and learn quite a lot about this entire tool, which is an easy to learn. It's a do-it-yourself SEO guide. All right. It says that I have done the scanning of my website six days ago. When I say scanning, the entire website has been scanned by Web CEO six days ago, and they have found out a lot of uh, you know uh, data about my website. So if I scroll further down, what I've done, I've got the website up over here. And I scroll further down, I get a lot of information about my website 
I've not connected it to Google Analytics. If I connect, I can get a lot of information. So connecting Google Analytics can also happen. I can get to know about average ranking. So what I have done, I have added in some keywords for which I am trying to get my website onto the top. This particular website I'm trying to get onto the top. And for those keywords I have mentioned over here. And uh, I would show you what are those keywords. This particular tool is letting me know how much uh, increase or decrease has happened in the ranking of those keywords. I've got five keywords listed. Okay, I scroll further down. It gives me information about how many keywords are ranking in the top first position. So there are five keywords ranking on top first. In top 10 positions, there are 11 keywords. In top 20 positions, there are 11 keywords again. In top 30 positions again, there are 11 keywords in totality. This is, a, this is the change from the last scan to this particular scan. It is all showing in green. So there were two scans which have happened. One happened in the month of April and the other one happened just uh, six days ago. All right, I can run a new scan. I can do a rescan right now. Let's see what happens. If I do a rescan, it will again fetch out new data of my website in terms of the ranking and other part. All right, so when I do a rescan, it says scanning is in progress. This entire tool, guys, does a lot of automation process for us. It gives us a lot of information, which probably we might go ahead and check out manually. You know, ranking can be checked for my for of my website manually by typing in that typing in keywords manually into search engines. But uh, if I want all that to be done automatically, I can go ahead and do that. So this tells me now this is the entire change, guys, in the average ranking. If I click on this. Let's say google.co.in. It gives me more information about how are the overall, how is the overall ranking thing going on? So there is a decrease in the ranking for golf our course architecture India keyword. There is a decrease. So you can see if I scroll, take it away, it says the last scan which was done on, which is done today, the position is two, uh, which is on 3rd of uh, October, right? You just read that out. Last scan, 3rd of October 2015, the position is 2. The previous scan was done on 27th of uh, September. The position was 2 again. The image result, uh, in the image result, the last scan which was done today, position not found on the first three first three result pages. In the previous scan, there was a there was a image which was ranking on 16th position. So there has been a decrease in the one of the image guys. What you can see, but in terms of the website, it was on position two, and even now uh, my website is actually on position two for this keyword. If I go further up for this specific keyword, which is golf course construction company in India, and it says earlier it was six, and even now it is the sixth position, guys. Similarly, for the uh, previous one, it says golf course consultant in India, it was position was 10, even now the position is 10. And the other one is position one, and now even the position is one. If I go to golf course designer, the second keyword, the position is three, and again the position remains three. And the very first one, there is no change, so it won't it won't check beyond third page? Absolutely right, Arushi. Maybe the paid uh, paid uh, you know paid tool for the paid version of this tool might actually go ahead and do it uh, beyond the third page also. So that is. Uh, with the free version, you have limited functionalities, right? So with the uh, paid version, you probably might have more uh, scanning being done till more than that. So for Yahoo, the position is first, first, first. And for this one, uh, the fourth keyword, you can say golf course consultant in India. Uh, earlier, it was on position seven. Sorry, it was earlier on 27th of September. It was nowhere and right now it's on the seventh position. And there is a jump for yahoo.com for this keyword golf course construction company in India earlier. It was on 27th of September. It was on uh, fifth position and right now it's on to the third, right? So there is a jump of two you can see and this one there is a jump of seven. This one remains static. This remains same. All right, I can go ahead and so this is the comparison and all right, so I can run various comparison. This is the comparison of the last scan with this scan, right? I can go ahead and click on without uh, if I want results without any comparison or if I want comparison with a specific custom date 
or with the best result which have been there in the previous uh, 12 months okay i can go ahead and click on all tag guys and check for how are the alt tags working right now for whatever images which are there on my website i can get uh, more information respect to that all right okay so these are the keywords list okay this is uh, this is the alt tag guys which are getting represented over here for the alt tags these are the keywords which have been written across for all the or what do you say images which are there that's being shown across all right so i so key kei stands for keyword efficiency index and it does have the bid competition so this is very much like guys that keyword tool which we have right if you go on to the keyword tool you can uh, you can get similar information and i can do that keywords from search console we can connect always our google search console also can be connected if you remember google webmaster has a search console also i can authorize a new google account if i have connected uh, if i have connected my website to one of my google account then i can go ahead and connect so as of now i don't remember which particular account uh, google account i have with, with this particular website it's very easy you can go ahead and authorize that plus you can spy on your competitors right what you can do this is not available for the free version you can go ahead and spy on the competitors your competitors keywords how the site of your competitors is performing and how have been the overall uh, change drift in the entire drift in the entire rankings for your specific competitor right so similarly now if i click over here guys this is the website now if i uh, scroll over here and click on this particular position which is keyword research this entire tool is divided into four different sections guys number one uh, being the site audit part the keyword research which i have already shown you you can do a keyword research also you can get to know about your internal links you can do all entire seo audit analysis you can even create site maps so i have already shown you how sitemap is created with the help of XML sitemap tool. You can also get to know a lot about your backlink analysis. I'll come on to them. And also, so you can check for the quality for, of your backlinks, which you have, uh, which are pointing out to your website. Plus you can check what all, from what all websites can you create backlinks. You can spy across on your competitors backlinks also and get a lot of learning that these are the websites from which you should also go ahead and create backlinks, right? So competitive backlink spy, uh, the third major section of this particular tool gives you a lot of information about the social engagement happening for your product, right? So web based monitoring, social engagement, the Facebook insight. So uh, the Facebook insight is the Facebook analytics. So if you have a Facebook page, sorry. So if you have a Facebook page, then you can get a lot of insights about your Facebook page right over here. Instead of going on to Facebook and then going ahead and checking that, this can be done all right so i can connect that too and the other part being the ranking part which i've already shown you right i can connect my google analytics and google webmaster too so i don't need to go ahead and uh, open google analytics as a separate thing google webmaster as a separate thing i can get a lot of information over here let me show you the uh, internal links optimization let's see if this thing is working right now all right yeah so when I click on the internal links, what I did right now, I clicked on the internal links optimization and this tool is helping me to get, uh, get to know what particular page of my website is getting how many uh, linking from different web pages. So this page, the about us page guys is getting 73 backlinks, 73, not backlinks, sorry, internal links. All right. And, uh, from 57 other different websites, and uh, there are 73 internal links. Similarly, the contact us page has these many links, the projects, what we believe, and so forth and so on. Even the image part, one of the image is mentioned over here, which is getting backlinks. So these are all the images which are getting internal linking. All right. I scroll further down. These are all internal other different web pages of this website. So all you have to check for is that these things should actually improve. We have already seen that 
right? So we have already seen all that stuff when we had, uh, let me do a rescan now, uh, where we have already seen that within the webmaster tool, how things, uh, how the internal linking works. So let's do a rescanning and get to see how the internal linking is working. All right, so the scanning has happened and So there are 57 pages right now and 2,217 back uh, internal links, guys. And if I scroll on further uh, details, these are the internal links, which is 1875. And these are the outbound external links going from my website to other websites. All right. So this is entire cross linking, guys. Internal links from one page to another page. There are total 1875 and uh, outbound links going from my website to other websites is 342. What we have to see is that this number of stuff, this number of uh, this particular number, which is total links on the site should actually improve. And plus the total number of web pages should also uh, improve a lot. Uh, reason being the more the number of web pages, better it is. All right. So I don't want to confuse you much by talking a lot of uh, stuff about this particular tool. I can go to sitemap generation. I can go ahead and create a sitemap. So this sitemap has already been created. All right, so you can go ahead and use that same tool, guys. This is uh, generated on April. I can generate that from here also. You can use that same tool which I've shown you previously, which was XML sitemaps, or you can generate from with the help of this particular tool also. And once you generate that, you can upload it from here. All right. So here's the one which is 3rd of October. I can go ahead and download this and get that uploaded across onto the root folder, the top level directory of my website. All right. So that's the sitemap guys, which is, uh, which does have all the URLs of my website. Similarly, if I uh, go ahead and make you see the backlinks part, when I click on backlink quality check, it'll give me overall information of the websites which are giving backlink to my website. So this is the total number of backlinks and all right, so let's do a scan. It, it, the scan is done all right. So the total number of backlinks have actually decreased. So 138 total backlinks in totality right now. If I scroll further down, the number of linking. So there have been certain backlinks which have got deleted from the last scan. So the last scan which happened on 27th of September there were 2,327 backlinks and at present it shows 138. So I feel there is something wrong over here. There cannot be such a huge difference. Maybe this particular tool has not been able to identify all the backlinks perfectly. Not really sure why is this happening. So there were 78 earlier in the month of April. You can see 30th April 2005. Uh, there were 78 backlinks pointing out to this website. And right now on 27th of September, when it was being run again, 2,189. And as of today, they're just 138. That's what it says. Probably I can go ahead and rescan and see if there is a change again. All right, so I believe there isn't. It's still scanning. Yep, so as per them, there is no change, which is, I believe, some problem with this particular tool. There haven't been so many uh, backlinks to this particular website. The number of uh, websites which are pointing out, which are giving backlinks, uh, were 13 on 30th April and 20 on 27th of September, and today it's number 15. So as for them, there have been decrease in certain websites. These are the anchor text on which the backlinks have been created. I hope everybody understands the meaning of back, uh, the anchor text and the total backlinks with competitors. What it says is that you have 138 today and all right, the same figure. This information is all about the backlinks which are coming from third party websites on what TLDs have they been created. Most of 60% of the websites which are giving backlinks backlink to this uh, website of my client Though those 60% of the websites are made up on .com TLD, 35% of the websites which are giving backlinks to this uh, main website of ours is created across on .org, .org uh, 
TLD, which is called the top level domain. So forth. Similarly, for backlinks coming from uh, backlinks come from other websites which are created on dot in tld are constitute for five percent all right so i scroll further down so that's with the backlink analysis guys you can also get to know about your competitors link profile if you have the paid version you can definitely go ahead and mention across your competitor this is the home page google okay now the competitors is actually not added over here i can go ahead okay I can go ahead and add more competitors. Just a second. All right, so it, uh, there are there is an option of going ahead and adding in four competitors. I don't see the option of how to go ahead and do that. Add competitors. When I click on find more competitors, it gives me golfdigest.com and then it gives me golf now. I cannot enter the URL of my competitor by myself, which is a bit strange. I can go ahead and do golf.com and world golf or maybe golf advisor. All right, so I've got four competitors written uh, mentioned over here golf digest. Then I have got golf.com and I've got golf advisor. I'm not taking uh, golf Gaga and maybe golf now. Let's see if I do it save. Let's see how much. Okay, so here you go. That's the overall uh, information about the other four competitors which you can see over here. So this website of ours is not performing that good as compared to these renowned websites. These are way too renowned websites guys. I am not able to add in competitors by myself. You can see the total number of backlinks for this particular website is just 138, whereas for Golf Digest, it's 2 lakh, 25 lakh, 60,000 rather. And this is for this one is 47,000. Golf.com is a pretty renowned website, and a lot of uh, SEO happens for that. So that's how you get to know about your competitors too guys you can go ahead and export that across as well within a pdf right so that these are the overall functionality guys all right you can create that and send that across to your client in case you want to share across a competitor analysis too all right then comes in the linking domains, the domains which are giving backlinks across to the competitors. I can get to know about that and also my website too. So as of now, to my website, these are the major websites which are giving uh, backlinks. So craigslistdir.com and one mission, one mission.com, lemon directory, so forth and so on. So uh, maximum 20 backlinks are being actually uh, showcased across over here with the help of uh, this paid tool, guys. All right, sorry, the uh, free free version, guys. With the paid tool, you can have much more much more details. All right, so uh, I'm not gonna get way too much in detail for this. When I click on black backlinks, it gives me for uh, these are the backlinks which are created for this particular website and. This is the text on which this particular backlink has been created, right? So if I click on many of them, let's say this one. So this is a Demos uh, one. I can go ahead and open this and maybe then get to know. All right. All right, so that's more about the backlinks, guys. Uh, you get to know more information about on what all websites and what all links uh, have been created and from what all uh, words they have been created. The link text comes in over here. Golf course, so these are the anchored text which are being used across so far. So golf course architect designers in India, golf design India, golf design India, so forth and so on. 
right i can also go ahead so i have already shown you about the backlinks the site audit the ranking part this part will only work if you have the google analytics connected across all right and also this part will work if you have the major social media websites connected across all right so that's more uh, of you know an overview about web ceo tool guys so if you are working across on any of the campaigns uh, wherever you plan to work uh, you know for optimizing a specific website these kind of tools will absolutely help you to shape and sharpen up your entire campaigns similarly we have another tool guys which i want to tell you more about this that is called screamingfrog.com this is uh, again this has a free version too right any doubt so far guys with web ceo are we all good let me know with uh, web ceo whatever i have taught you whatever we have seen so far are you guys okay with that? So Abhishek, Arushi, Harshika, Santosh, Vibhor, let me know, guys, within the chat window. Any doubts or queries you can have, uh, you can surely ask me. Yes, says Abhishek, yes, says Arushi. All right. Yeah, okay. So, Santosh says, uh, okay. Harshika says, yes. All right. Great. Uh, how about uh, Vibhor? Are you okay? All right. So now this particular tool, guys, Okay, thanks, Vibor. You can go ahead and download the free version of this particular tool, whether you are on Mac or on Windows, you can go ahead and download that. This has a desktop version. I would go ahead and open the desktop version for this tool. I have already downloaded that. That's why I am showing you right away. Otherwise, you can go ahead and uh, download that first and then run it across. So I'm opening Screaming Frog. All right, so it's opening right now. Okay, let me just go ahead and get this update. And what I'm going to do right now for uh, a website, okay, it's, it's an update is available. Not really sure. I don't want to go with it right now. All right. So let's say if I have a website right now of my client, this is one of my client's website. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to do an entire check of uh, this website with the help of Screaming Frog. I am going ahead and entering the URL of my client's website within this specific tool. And then I go ahead and press start. What you can see over here on the right hand side bottom where my cursor is it's doing an overall scan up till 500 pages if a website is 500 pages strong it will do it for free if a website has more than 500 pages then we need a paid version guys for that all right so i'll show you up till the 500 thing So this website does have more than 500. So that's why it's taking time. Uh, every single image is also counted, ha does have its own URL too. So that's the reason why a lot of URLs gets created. Two ninety-five being done, 300 being done. So just waiting for four entire 500 to get done. All right, so just almost uh, it's 450 being done. What I'm going to show you right now, this particular tool gives us a lot of information. A lot of information about uh, the tags which are present on our website. All right. What you can see right now over here, each and every web page, every web page URL is being listed down over here. You can see the home page and then the images and then you have the internal pages so forth and so on all the web pages and this gives us the status of all the web pages which is like status code status code is 200 which is uh, an okay symbol an okay code so you don't need to do anything with those pages which are okay the 
good part about this particular website this particular tool guys is that we get to know about all the title tags for all the pages if, so what i'm doing right now i go into the page titles all right i go into the page titles and when i'm over here it gives me information about each and every title tag which is written across for every web page these are all the web pages guys all right these are all the web pages and over here the title tag for each and every web page which is written is shown across along with the length i hope you guys remember the title tag has to be present across on all the web pages and what is the character limit guys anybody who remembers and recalls what character limit is allowed or should be there for 55 says harshika vibhav says 35 harshika says 55 to 60 All right. Anybody else who wants to? Santosh says 50 to 60. All right. Anybody else? So uh, Abhishek, any idea on the uh, title tag character limit? 75. All right. So 55 to 60 is absolutely uh, 50 to 60, 55 to 60. Uh, they both are right answers. So that's the character limit which should be there across. You can see there are plenty of pages over here which do, which are not falling under that particular bandwidth, that particular limit. right so you have 26 you have 0 then 8 so forth and so on this gives me a lot of information about the missing part so if i on the right hand side you can see it says page titles it tells me that there are 339 pages and pages which doesn't have any title tag right now are 64 and pages with duplicate title tags are 272 so i really need to go ahead and get this thing sorted out right i do need to go ahead and get this thing sorted out and pages which are have more than 65 characters which have low correct low uh, correct limits and much more correct limits more than 65 and less than 30 they both are getting listed over here so there are more pages which have less than 30 characters and there are plenty of web pages which do not have title tags right i can simply go ahead and get this entire uh list exported across into an excel sheet right so what i'm going to do right now all right so this is for the all thing i go ahead and click on export when i click on export i can go ahead and create a new folder and then get this saved across all right so that's been saved i can uh, definitely go ahead and open that and take uh, corrective actions to get this corrected then similarly with the meta description guys when i go ahead and click on to the meta description it gives me more uh, more information on the meta description part you can see plenty of web pages have same meta description which is really not a great thing to happen i go ahead and click on to the all part which is 339 pages again 79 pages are missing out on the meta description all right and there are 266 pages which have duplicate meta description so you cannot have same meta description across on different web pages which is also not recommended the character limit for meta description if it's beyond 156 characters it's not considered good and character limit which is of meta description less than 70 so 140 to 156 is what i suggest but uh, over here what we can see there are plenty of web pages with lesser characters and much more characters both and duplicacy and missing so these are some things guys which needs to be corrected so i wish says uh, uh, meta description okay but this is one of the major element of the tags uh, so i wish you'll absolutely go ahead and you you'll get to uh, understand that once we'll have uh, more sessions on seo uh what you can do you can check my recordings also maybe you will can get a lot of information on that right so i hope you have the uh url for the recording so bit.ly forward slash tmp videos all right so all right great so coming back all right just a sec 
okay so coming back to this again tool guys i can go ahead and export that again and i can go ahead and export entirely and there you go similarly we have the meta keywords guys the meta keywords functionality also lets us know how many pages have got more keywords in place and how many have got missing duplicate so forth and so on right so uh, we can go ahead and make changes accordingly i can go ahead and get that exported get this exported too all right then we have the h1 and h2 i hope everybody remembers the, the h1 and h2 part does anybody remember how many header tags can we go ahead and implement on a specific web page? How many header tags are allowed? All uh, right, Santosh says H6. How uh, says H6. All right, anybody else? Uh, Harshika, any idea on that? How many uh, header tags are allowed? Uh, and then uh, Santosh, do you remember that? Right, so H6 up till six header tags is something which are uh, which you can go ahead with so h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 and h6 absolutely so this particular tool gives us information about the h1 and h2 only and the major keyword should be part of the h1 tags and the h12 h2 tag also so this uh, is also not in shape right now there are more than 139 pages which are missing out on heading tags 199 pages with similar duplicate title header tags duplicate uh, sorry title uh, not title duplicate header tags and so forth and so on i can go ahead and export the same part again right so it's pretty easy to go ahead and uh, just to export whatever part you are looking at so missing duplicate so forth and so on then with h2 also there are a lot of things again which are missing again i can go ahead and export that so this all needs to be corrected guys the meta keywords, meta description, page title, they are not at all in shape. Similarly, I can go to the images part. These are all the images and within the images, uh, the, the alt tags which are missing are somewhere close to 119 uh, images for which the alt tags are missing. Let's say if I click, click on one of the image URL, it says the title is not, title of an image is missing. Title of the image is very similar to the alt tag, right? Alt tag is something which I've already told you. Alt tag is the tag which is connected to a particular image so that search engine can find an image easily. The way an image is read across by a search engine is only with the help of the alt tag which is linked to it, right? So we can go ahead and get that also corrected. And you have to also make sure that your web... Uh, so Arushi says for correcting these faults, we need to make... Cha changes to the source code absolutely right absolutely right we need to make uh, make changes on the back end of our website within the code part all right so these are the major things guys which i want to let you know within the uh, screaming frog and these are the major tools now the next part guys which comes in is online reputation management which i talk, want to talk about right so are we all good with these two tools guys which i have already explained it to you these are some good tools uh, okay there are a couple of more tools i want to sh show you but are we good right now with these tools let me know please with a yes or a no all right santosh says okay arushi says yes all right abhishek says yes all right so we don't have many more people today so there's a maybe just because of long uh long weekend there are not many people who have come in today so before are you good and arushi are you good any doubts or queries you have you can absolutely all right ask me all right thanks arushi thanks abhishek thanks before all right now the other tool guys which i want to tell you is called copyscape.com any idea what exactly this tool does for us copyscape tool copyscape.com guys So I go ahead and press it over here. The URL I have shared it with you. Any idea what this tool would do for us? Why different? Uh, why different tests for SEO? I'm sorry, I couldn't get here. Why different tools for SEO? Uh, I mean, we, what what tools do you want for SEO? I mean, you want same tools. When you say different, as in different from what uh, things? Uh, uh, different from what? Uh, we were. So uh, Santosh says, says it's used for duplicate duplicacy of the content. Abhishek says check similar content present on the website. Absolutely right. 
and before if you just let me know i mean different this these seo tools are different from which particular tools have you learned any other tools so far uh, and and if you're trying to compare uh, you're trying to see those tools can also work for seo so seo always for seo you have different tools only uh, i don't know which tools are you talking about so when you say different if you can elaborate more maybe then i can answer your question all right so let's say for the same website guys i go ahead and check whether the content which is present on my website is also present across on any other website or not the duplicacy of the content can be checked so is there not one tool to serve the complete purpose so uh, see uh, these all are absolutely different tools for sure okay i got your point now okay why are we trying to learn so uh, so many tools now every tool has its own uh, different objective every tool has its own uh, you know uniqueness i would say its own uh, strength core strength area so uh, we as search engine optimizers uh, definitely use at least two to three tools for sure so that we get different perspective from perspective of our website from one tool from the another tool some tool is able to do one specific thing the other tool is able to do another but web ceo is one tool which does a lot many things before well, web ceo is one comprehensive tool which does a lot of things so if you ask me that but uh, i was still trying to tell you some more tools i mean screaming frog yes paid absolutely they do have a free version which is only available for few things for few functionalities you can take the pre free version the the uh, what do you say the trial version as of now the paid trial version all right so what i do right now on copyscape.com guys i've mentioned across the url of my client's website and then i click on go this is going to tell me if there is some content present on my website which is copied which is present on any other website or not all right so it says none of it none of the content present on my website is copied which is a good thing right this is something which is uh, a good news that if that it would have been a pay uh, a duplicacy content if the content on my website would have been copied uh, by another website too then it would have been a cause of concern for me let's say i if i try to try to do it for run it for another website as well all right so if i let's say this time i mention across this particular url and i run it across let's say if this one i am able to get not really again it's good so there are no results right now for this website too both the websites don't have any copied content guys if had there been a copied content there would have been the other websites written over here all right so you can go ahead and try this other tool guys just to check how uh, the entire you know the duplicacy of the content things can be looked across so you, how this entire tools things work you need to go ahead and look into web ceo screaming frog these are the great tools guys then you have seo profiler which is another tool i'm not going to talk about that so that you don't get confused at least use these tools first and then we can probably take the other tools all right the next thing guys now which i want to talk about is online reputation management what do we understand by the word online reputation management guys so anybody who wants to go ahead and uh, give across his or her definition about what is your understanding about online reputation management i'll show you some of the projects which people gave uh with respect to on so to manage image says report what sort of an image anybody else who wants to also give in his or her view point harshika San, uh, santosh arushi abhishek what do you understand by the terminology online reputation management this is a part of digital marketing only i'll just show you the kind of uh, projects which are available for online reputation management on various websites so vibhor says to manage image of an organization all right absolutely right anybody else what can you understand by the word online reputation management guys i've written that across over here online reputation management so arushi says maintaining the reputation ranking of the website all right great try 
yeah absolutely Abhishek says to maintain the reputation they have amongst the clients they are having all right and Arshika says optimization for code will absolutely all right let me ask you a question guys uh, now since uh, internet has come in maybe let's say I would say 10 15 years back only the internet thing has come in the first time I used internet was in the year 1996 or 97 I believe right and uh, if I say 15 17 years since uh, or maybe 20 years since internet has come across the overall usage of internet has increased in the past 8 10 years only before 8 10 years when we were not using internet and when we used to buy in product let's say to, uh, 10 years back if you had bought a product for example you had bought uh, you had purchased a pen to write across you know and uh, somehow while using the pen the the ink of the pen starts leaking all right it gives you an overall bad experience probably you have invested let's say 10 rupees onto that the pen you feel that uh, you feel bad you feel really uh, you feel cheated you feel cheated that this uh, company this brand which has given you uh, a pen for 10 rupees has really done bad by offering you a product which is not worth 10 rupees which has not uh, i mean it was not worth spending 10 rupees on that particular pen that point of time 10 years back you could have just gone back to the shopkeeper and then could have just told him that uh, the pen which you gave me was not really up to the mark the shopkeeper would have said i can't help it maybe maybe i uh, i cannot even give you a replacement you can go ahead and buy a new one the shopkeeper could have said that right now you have no other option to just go ahead and share your bad experience or uh, now today, let's say if you have, uh, if you get into a similar kind of situation, many, many brands, many organizations these days, let's say today, if you uh, fly across on a specific airline, whether it's Spice or Indigo, you're not getting, you didn't get great service, or maybe let's say you have bought a, a car, which is not up to the mark. You are facing a lot of trouble in that. You go and watch a movie, let's say in a particular, uh, uh, you know, movie theater and you feel that you know the the place was stinking that bad or you buy in a specific uh, eatable product and you find that it's it's not uh, it's not really hygienic it's not up to the mark now in today's world when you have internet ha have you gone come across any situation in your life where you have faced bad uh, service you have encountered bad service bad product uh, you know, overall experience of using a particular product or service has been really pathetic, really bad. And you have gone ahead and used the internet to express your overall bad experience you had. Have you come across any situation in your uh, lifetime, guys? The question is, have you experienced any situation where you have uh, not liked any product or service and you have taken internet as a platform to share across your experience let me know with a yes or no but the reason why i'm doing this is so that i can make you understand more about online reputation management so abhishek says yes mostly in restaurants i have faced this kind of situation that's great abhishek and uh vibor says everyone i guess all right everybody is not replying in so that's why i'm asking santosh says all right yeah absolutely yes uh, you have done that Right. So I OK, if I'm assume if you say that everyone is doing that these days, absolutely. Uh, yes. Delayed delivery of products for delayed delivery of products. Arushi has done that. Santosh has also done that somewhere or the other. Vibor also says everybody and uh, Abhishek also says for most of the restaurants. So I am I'm assuming that most of you have faced such kind of situation. And what sort of websites have you gone ahead and written such kind of uh, reviews, guys? You know your experiences so on mouth shirt says before all right so on for snap deal she has done that all right on snap deal website if there and zomato absolutely i hope everybody is aware of zomato.com Sinto says job portal all right consumer forum absolutely right now when you have written these bad back uh, bad reviews for a specific product you know how this overall reputation of that brand absolutely goes for a toss this is something which i don't need to tell you you know Today, if you type in, let's say Arushi has ordered something from uh, Snapdeal and Arushi has not got that particular product on time and she is very much frustrated about it. She goes to the uh, Snapdeal forum 
and types in the entire uh, you know the entire experience she had she goes ahead and informed that uh, the product was not delivered on time i kept on waiting it really uh, landed me into a different uh, troublesome situation i was very much uh, you know hopping around on that i was uh, i was just not given any perfect reply by your by snapdeal team <coughs> excuse me now once that has been done let's say she had ordered a phone and she didn't receive that phone on time now somehow vibhor santosh or maybe parth sarthi was joined in just now the welcome parth sarthi or maybe harshika or abhishek or maybe me all of us you know we want the same uh, mobile phone and we go on to most snap deal web page and somehow all of us see that there is some consumer by the name of arushi who has written this and uh, the the overall experience which arushi had received has been not up to the mark this particular uh, review can change her change our mindsets we can absolutely go ahead and then change our mindset mindset and not buy in the product some of us might do some of us might not purchase so the negative reviews absolutely is going to impact the overall business of a specific uh, organization the overall sales which are uh, expected to be uh, you know reached that will get impacted the overall decision making of the prospective new buyers of new sales which could have happened uh, gets affected right so the online reputation this is called the online reputation the positive and the negative reviews goes for a toss uh, you know the that overall reputation goes for a toss and the online reputation is is not uh, is not uh, helping in building the entire business now it has been seen a lot of negative reviews guys a lot of negative reviews have always led to decrease in seo rankings no matter how good you do no matter how good you do with the on page and off page if you have a lot of negative reviews on trip advisor if you are a hotel or on uh, somato uh, you have a lot of negative reviews if you are into the let's say restaurant business or if you are into some other kind of business a lot of negative reviews will impact your seo as well along with business it will impact the seo rankings why do you think this will happen how will how is the the negative reviews gonna affect the seo ranking any idea guys so how a negative review how would negative reviews of a specific brand will affect the seo campaign too anybody who wants to talk about that how so what exactly can you think so negative reviews does impact negatively negative reviews always have bad impact on the seo campaign too how do you think this happens so organic search results will display them wow that's a great answer arshi i i really appreciate and like that so google punches aside absolutely vibor you are also writing great stuff arshi says negative reviews organic search results will display them absolutely the negative reviews go up on the top and uh, the seo positive listings go on the downward side and google also punishes those website so google keeps a mon- manual check guys google does a manual check on uh, a manual check on the overall reviews which are getting received for a specific brand a brand which is getting a lot of negative reviews the ranking of that specific website for the targeted keywords goes down this is something which is done check manually plus if i have to tell you the negative reviews rank a lot on specific targeted keywords also now if somebody types in let's say this is one of my competitor guys uh, i would just want to show you i i'm don't not taking this intentionally but uh, this is one of the great thing which many students of mine tell me that they made may they change their decision they instead of going on uh, going ahead with delhi school of internet marketing they uh, you know they didn't go to delhi school of internet marketing and they came across to my institute 
because of the reviews which they have read you know the online reputation of this particular uh, institute uh, was not up to the mark because of which they had decided not to go with them so if you type in the keyword delhi school of internet marketing reviews and you uh, do a search the first search result which comes up over here is a mouth is of mouthshot.com which is uh, which is actually uh, a negative review then you have a, within consumercomplaints.com there is another negative review all right so these guys have done great stuff by getting in a facebook page on the top all right and then you have grahakseva.com which is again a negative review and then you have uh, kora.com Quora.com is a site which is about uh, which is a Q&A website. I hope most of you would have been knowing about it. So let's say if I open the very first one, which is Moucher.com, you can see there is a negative review. And these guys, you know, which is Delhi School of Internet Marketing, they have tried to counter attack with the help of some uh, positive review, which they might have done it deliberately by themselves. Then similarly, they have done it from another particular student of theirs then there is another negative review and then counter attacked by another positive reviews so the entire ranking goes for a tox if you have negative reviews and this entire changes the overall buying decision pattern so this particular consumer complaint is again uh, a negative review which is right across there so this particular person who's writing over here has got something uh, something to share across from his or her entire journey entire experience so far so this has been counter attacked by some maybe the maybe the staff of this particular institute they have gone ahead and written some goody goody stuff in order to counter attack that but the the point is that if there is a consumer complaint or if there is a negative review these sites these sites don't go ahead and accept any any money or anything else in order to get that deleted they don't do that right so they this has mentioned they said creating blog with a free web software and guess what is that wordpress trainer of dsm don't know the curriculum and oh i don't know all right so they have been charging this much amount and so forth and so on all right so these are the negative reviews guys uh, of this particular i want to tell you about another particular what do you say another case study which was with uh, i forgot united airlines yeah so united airlines uh, breaks guitar right so this is one of the famous case study guys if you have uh, if you guys are aware about this this there was this particular individual who was being uh, told by united airlines so uh, to not to take their guitar not to take his guitar onto the flight and he was a singer so when they actually told him that uh, we cannot allow you to take your guitar somehow uh, he was he managed to take that guitar and uh, they actually went ahead and broke the guitar of that individual this guy then actually went ahead and created a specific video and made it viral across you know he uploaded that on youtube and it went viral let me share with you that was the overall i think this was the yeah this was the overall video guys you can see the number of hits which are there over here which are getting represented over here and this video had gone viral like anything i can share with you all right now the point is if there is a lot of uh, negative reviews uh, for a particular website okay this the luggage guys have actually done that if there are a lot of negative reviews for a particular website and uh, these negative reviews will always lead to always lead to impact on the seo process the seo campaign what you should do in order to get that improved in order to fight against that the only thing which you can see over here which even uh, these guys the tsim guys have been doing they have been counter attacking with the help of positive reviews this is the only thing which you can do you know the positive reviews is one thing which you can counter attack or the other thing which you can do is you can speak to those individuals who have posted across the negative reviews 
tell them that uh, if you have faced certain bad uh, you know bad experience you we can go ahead and help you out we can go ahead and help you out and then request these individuals these customers of yours and tell them that probably we can help you out and uh, whatever you have not received uh, we'll offer that and so that you can delete that so most of the customers do go ahead and accept that till the time they're not very much uh, irated so these would be very much irated customers that's why they would have done it I am very much sure these guys, uh, the, the one which I'm talking about, they are very much particular about what's happening, uh, what sort of websites open up when somebody type in their names uh, with the word maybe complaints or maybe with the word reviews. So if somebody types in complaints, you can see consumer complaint, mouth shirt, Grahak Seva and the other ones. What these guys do it, they have created, they've also created this particular uh, for this particular keyword, which is Delhi School of Internet Marketing, few uh, complaints or reviews, they have gone ahead and created certain uh, blogs intentionally, something like this, DSIM, DSIM review WordPress. This is something done in order to do the reputation management. So one of the tasks which I've told you was to request to the customer and tell them that we can offer you whatever things you have not received. That is a solution one. If you want to manage your negative reviews, so you are managing. If you have to manage uh, managing the ORM, the online reputation, you have to go ahead and first of all apologize. The number one solution, guys, is to apologize to the end customer. Apologize to the end customer and then go ahead and get that uh, removed and get that negative review Get that negative review removed. That is one the number two is you can go ahead and after apologizing offer great uh, Great discounts maybe so that this review can be Removed across by the end customer guys by the end customer, this review can be removed if you go ahead and offer great discounts. If this also doesn't work, then you can go ahead and counter attack or you can say you can reply back, reply to these negative reviews in order to let everybody know that you as an organization are, uh, are very much... Uh, you know careful about what people are talking and uh, you are always striving for you as an organization are striving for customer satisfaction maximum customer satisfaction which can be achieved all right so these things actually does help so dsim is doing pretty good so number three is this and number four guys where in your where in your seo uh, skill set comes in you go ahead and you know that thing is you go ahead and create several new blogs and several new mini websites what they have done for these guys as uh, dsim guys have done they have created a video they have created a specific blog this that's what and they have created another blog they have created deliberately these specific blogs and then they have got certain good content over here the content which they have written has got this keyword got this main keyword for which their negative reviews are ranking on the top what they're trying to do with this particular blog guys whether it's this uh, whether it's a wordpress blog or the blogspot guy uh, uh, blog these two blogs have been created by dsim specifically with the objective of ranking these up this particular video this particular blog and this another blog they're trying to optimize these specific different properties so that they appear on the top and the mouth shirt and consumer complaint and the other bad reviews go down and the de-ranking happens this is the major place guys where a uh, major solution where your seo skill sets comes into place you're not trying to do any harm to these negative reviews what are you just trying to do? You're trying to get these negative reviews moved from first page to the second page, right? You are not Google. You cannot do that. Only you can do is you can do manipulation with these search results. What you would do for the keyword for which the negative reviews are coming, you would create several small websites. 
several blogs and apply all the on page and off page optimization techniques and create a lot of content on your new blogs and new websites get that content uploaded for targeting that specific keyword do the on page and off page optimization for that keyword and make those uh, new blogs rank higher and get these negative reviews go on to the bottom this is the only thing guys which you can do when you are trying to do the online reputation management all right so i have a question only google can remove the negative reviews of the customer too uh, can do that customers is somebody who would absolutely can do that arushi for sure and uh, let's say the negative reviews right across on mouthshot either it's the uh, it's the customer so if you talk about this one this customer only can remove it or mouthshot themselves can remove it all right but if this mouthshot.com thing is ranking across on google then only google has the google has the power, what do you say power to go ahead and derank them but they would derank only if there are going to be some more websites which are doing optimization strongly if your micro sites and your new blogs are getting optimized strongly then automatically the mouthshot one will come onto the second page and third page so how can they remove it uh, see mouthshot can uh, only the uh, first of all only the end customer who has posted this <coughs> let's say if i have posted a review negative review only i have the admin rights to go ahead and delete that or maybe the website owner you know the website owner i say the mouthshot.com the person who owns the mouthshot.com can delete that the mouthshot.com is a uh, uh, what do you say a private site that's why they don't have any restriction had this been a uh, had this been a government site maybe a consumer complaints site or that sort they cannot even delete it by themselves that's the thing so the deletion part only so if today if i have written something bad about a particular brand and this particular brand has offered me something good i can go ahead and let people know that this has been resolved i can log into my profile i would log into my profile and go ahead and get that deleted right does that answer your question arushi are we all good guys so orm is not a rocket science orm is not a technical uh, stuff guys yeah all right orm is all seo all right so partha sarthi you have joined in new let me know how uh, have you been finding it uh, did you i am not really sure you uh, what all you have so orm is something probably you have joined in uh, you have been listening to right so are we all good guys abhishek arushi uh, has said yes harshika did you understand orm part it was not a great uh, longer topic santosh vibor vibor are you clear on to the orm part not much of a rocket science it's a, just a simple stuff right yes says santosh how would you vibor got that says yes abhishek was it clear any doubts all right partha sarthi do you uh, plan to remain silent or uh, want to type across whether you got that or not so partha sarthi from kolkata plans to remain silent i'm not really sure why is he doing that all right guys so that's uh, what i have for today i i know it's like half an hour early prior to the scheduled class it's only one and a half hours since we have started uh from next class guys we're going to start with social media marketing all right and from social media marketing just let me know santosh have we webmaster tool absolutely i'll take but you have to first cover the uh, existing part because you know the data part i have to also there have been a lot of changes with the webmaster it is done with tool or manually sorry which is done with tool or manually the orm part this is done manually in totality yeah it's done manually so it's just like scm uh, seo right the entire seo is to be done of your micro websites and santosh with the webmaster tool the additional part which i'm talking about uh i have to actually uh, to be honest i have to do some more research on that i would study that and then get back to you on that so i am yet uh, there are a couple of things due so webmaster tool i have to uh, educate myself more on to that and also harshika's uh, request is also still pending i feel bad harshika i'll absolutely take your also uh, uh, request which is the ebay seo i have few uh, i have noticed few tools also like hootsuite hootsuite before is for social media marketing right so yeah youtube class is going to be within social media marketing so within social media marketing we have youtube we have uh, facebook 
and we have Twitter, and then we have uh, uh, social media marketing. We have YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and then Pinterest. All right. So I have got that thing, guys. And no, I mean there are tools available for ORM. See, there are tools available for uh, checking the overall reputation. They that are called social media listening tools uh, report. Social media listening tools are like Google Alerts are there. You have Google Alerts, and then social uh, uh, socialmention.com, and then you have Radiant Six also right radiant six also so i'm going to take them once we'll start with social media marketing that has something in common before the social media monitoring and orm how do we get to know what people are talking about that right so just to let you know you can go ahead and uh, read more about that and uh, we'll absolutely take that guys all right so uh, these are the overall so santosh like i told you within the social media marketing we'll have youtube facebook twitter pinterest and uh, Harshika, grant me apologies. I'm really sorry. I haven't taken your session of eBay SEO. I'm yet to take that. But most of the things which we have spoken so far, Harshika, the tools which we have used so far, 90% of the things are similar. So the way we go ahead and optimize our title tag, our meta tag description, the product description, keyword density, whatever we have studied so far, Harshika, they all apply with your S with your eBay products also. So there's going to be just uh, minute things which are different. Right, I have been uh, uh, way too much occupied with plenty of other things because of which I have not been trying to get time to work on the curriculum for the eBay SEO, which is a new request. I'll absolutely work on that. Anybody who wants to, any other topic, guys, uh, please host mine. Absolutely. So, Abhishek, uh, okay, I've got your websites uh, configured, guys, and I've got your C panels also up. So, I would share that across. Sure, we bored. Before Abhishek, I'll get you your websites uh, and also Harshika, the website. Uh, I'll send that across to you. All right. So, Arushi, you'll get that next week for sure, your website too. And uh, any specific topic which you feel, guys, you want. So, like Vibor did mention about ORM, I thought that I can share more about ORM in this session. I did that. And EBSU is one request. And any other request you have guys and webmaster uh, structured data is another request which is uh, by guru and santosh absolutely i'll take that viral marketing says before all right so viral marketing is going to be within youtube for sure some of the websites back end have a lot of keywords instead of three keywords yeah they have they have the option of uh, get putting across a lot of the keywords but the overall uh, right way i would say the optimized way is to just focus on three keywords if it's a fairly new website. Don't go with a lot of keywords. If you are a renowned brand, you can absolutely go ahead and punch in a lot of keywords and go with it. If you want results to come in sooner in a most effective fashion, then start with three keywords. When you start getting ranked for those three keywords, then you can add on a couple of more. You know, Then you go from three to... Uh, five keywords in totality and when your website starts ranking for those five keywords also then you can add on a couple of more and then move to the five keywords also that's what i would suggest to santosh but they all have to be related that bunch of keywords for that specific uh, web page has to be related in totality right so we'll have a session tomorrow also which is going to be on google adwords so uh, and that is with search ad and display ad which we're going to have anybody who wants to go ahead and uh, refresh all that stuff uh, how the google adword things work so uh, abhishek you're most welcome arushi you're going to be there for sure harshika i believe you're also going to be there and partha sarthi you plan to remain silent not really sure why is that so next time you come in and you don't speak anything i'll chuck you out of the room if you don't speak and santosh in case you want to go ahead and uh, uh, refresh anything with related to Google AdWords before you want to refresh anything related to Google AdWords. You're most welcome to join in tomorrow, 8.30, same time. Absolutely, email marketing is also yet to be covered. So after social media marketing, we would be covering email marketing. All right, so product listings. So the product listing part is absolutely the uh, the Google AdWords. Are you talking about? Uh, so which product listings are you talking about, Santosh? Uh, within the e-commerce website, how do you... so? 
that's with uh, when i would cover the ebay seo how to go ahead and uh, optimize that e-commerce yeah so e-commerce seo and ebay seo is going to be very similar i would absolutely take that santosh right guys so viral marketing is part of youtube only and email marketing would come in after the social media marketing so next class we'll start with social media marketing guys and i would try my level best if i can arrange for ebay seo also uh just to let you know on my personal front it was my uh, mother who was hospitalized before because of which i couldn't really went ahead and prepare for that for the ebseo module and now it's my wife who's actually in hospital right now uh, i'm going to be dad soon so i'm just busy with a lot of uh personal things guys i i'm just taking out time to uh, you know give in lectures instead of yeah she's fine she, she's doing good now thankfully so thanks for asking Vibor and uh, Santosh. And, but now we, I have my wife within, in the hospital and that's why I'm not getting time. So I really apologize, uh, Harshika. Thanks a lot, Arushi. So uh, maybe, maybe next Saturday or next, next Saturday, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll be a daddy. So I'll be a dad. So uh, just, just waiting for that. All right, guys. So uh, Harshika, I believe is not, uh, thanks a lot, Abhishek. Thank you, Santosh. Uh, Arshika, I believe you're not listening or uh, I, I, like I said, I'm, I really apologize for not taking your request. I know I did tell you that I would be taking it, but EBSU is absolutely on my mind. So it, don't, don't feel that it's not there on my, on my list. All right. So I have everybody per congratulating me except for Partha Sarthi, who still remains to be silent. And next time, if Partha Sarthi joins in and doesn't say anything, I'll chuck him out of the room. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, guys, for your time. I would take a leave. I have to again rush to the hospital. And uh, we'll, we'll absolutely connect same time tomorrow. If that too for the Google AdWords thing. All right. Uh, All right. So Partha Sarthi says sorry. All right. So Partha Sarthi, if you uh, no worries, if you can just ping me across on WhatsApp, let me know uh, what exactly are you trying to achieve from the digital marketing uh, uh, you know courses or uh, the, the sessions which you have been attending so I don't want you to be a silent spectator please and thanks a lot for your uh, wishes uh, I really appreciate that so if you if I can have your uh, phone number maybe Partha Sarthi that'll be awesome and uh, in case you guys want to log out feel free to do that guys I'll upload the recording all right so Thank you so much, guys, and good night. And I'm sharing across my credentials. I believe everybody does have my credential, guys. So, uh... all right, guys, thank you so much. And here we go. All right, great. So, Vibor looks nice. I can, okay, no worries. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. So, Partha Sarthi, I've shared my number with you. Uh, just, just punch in your number too. I'm waiting for that. And then I'll log out. So, I'm just waiting for Partha Sarthi to share his number. All right. So, Partha Sarthi, if you can just ping me across on WhatsApp, that'll be awesome. I can maybe help you with, uh, all right, whatever queries or doubts you'll have. All right, so last time I'm saying thank you so much, guys, for being part of the session today. I'll take a leave, and then we'll connect tomorrow, same time. Bye now.